Hello, my name is Ken of Azure and Technologies. In this video, I'd like to show you how to force high voltage by using a voltage source which the output can be floated. Let's see how we can double the output voltage of a voltage source. If the voltage source can source positive and negative voltage and the DUT is a true terminal device such as resistor or diode, then you can use two voltage source to double the output. As you can see in the left figure, the voltage across the terminals is double of reset. But if you want to force high voltage relative to ground, you can't use this method. You can double the output voltage by using two voltage source which may float independently. I'd like to show how to double the output voltage by using B2912A source measure unit, SMU. This SMU can force voltage or current, and it can force up to plus minus 210 volts and source or sink 105 milliamp. B2912A has two channels, and each channel may float independently. By connecting two channels in series, you can double the output voltage up to plus or minus 420 volts. This figure shows how to connect two SMUs in series. Low force terminal of channel 2 is connected to chassis ground. Low force terminal of channel 1 is set to flowing, and this low force is connected to high force terminal of channel 2. Both SMUs are set as a voltage source. Output voltage of these two channels are set so that the summed voltage will be equal to the applied voltage. Channel 2 acts to set the low side voltage of channel 1 and it sources the current. So the current limit must be set so that channel 2 can source or sink enough current. Two channels are combined so when you force or measure the voltage you need to sum both channels. For the current, read the value of channel 1. 10 mega ohm resistor is connected as a DUT. You may pay attention when handling the terminals of floated SMU, since the terminals might be over 200 volts. I'll connect the interlock terminal of the SMU to the test fixture. By using the interlock function, hazardous voltage won't be forced when the test fixture lid is open. Let's measure the voltage and see if the expected voltage is applied. I'll measure the guard terminal of channel 1 by using this digital multimeter. Both channel 1 and 2 is set to 200 volts, so the sum voltage is 400 volts. As you can see on the DMM, the measured voltage is about 400 volts. Measured current on SMU channel 1 is about 40 microam, which matches the expected value. This is B2961A power source. I'll use this as a voltage source and measure a three terminal device. B2961A, 62A can also be used as floating voltage source, but here I'll connect the low force terminal to ground. Connect low force of channel 2 to source terminal, high force of channel 1 to drain terminal, and connect the voltage source to gate terminal. This is the actual setup to measure a MOS FET. I'll use the sweep function of B2912A. Gate terminal is set to 3 volts. Output voltage of channel 2 is set to 200 volts and I'll sweep the output voltage of channel 1 from minus 200 volts to plus 200 volts. Let's start measurement. By this sweep operation, 
applied voltage to the DUT is from 0 volt to 400 volts. You can connect more than two SMUs in series. For example, you can connect five SMUs in series and force 100 volts, one amp. As shown in this figure, you can expand the setting range. Low force terminal of B2911A, 12A, may be floated up to plus and minus 250 volts relative to chassis ground. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like to have more information, please visit our website.